Total war is warfare that includes all civilians and civilian infrastructure as legitimate military targets and mobilizes all the resources of society to fight the war. Hinduism is the world's oldest religion, according to many scholars, with roots and customs dating back more than 4,000 years. Minecraft is a fun 3D block game that you probably already heard about. The reason I bring these things up is because they all have a connection. A disturbing connection. In the world of Minecraft, there is you, your environment, and monsters. Let's take a look at the monsters. Monsters attack you whenever you are near them, whether it is at night or in a dark space. The player usually has an advantage in this situation, seeing as they are not controlled by an AI. When they slay the creature, it falls over and disappears, leaving behind certain items. However, mobs would come at you infinitely, if they could. There's little to no explanation as how they are created. The only thing we have are mob spawners. However, mob spawners can only spawn mobs in an 8x8 area around them. So without these, how do they spawn? They cannot breed, which is how normal mobs are so abundant and they cannot be spawned in without cheats. After thinking about this, I remembered back to my 7th grade social studies class. A fundamental belief in Hinduism is the concept of reincarnation. The concept is described as follows. The soul reincarnates again and again on Earth until it becomes perfect and reunites with the Source, or Brahman, the universal soul or god. So what if the mobs just reincarnate themselves? After all, the mob cap on a single player world is 70. Only 70 mobs can be present at a time, so when one dies, it must just press the respawn button. It makes sense. After all, your player can do it, why not them? However, their reincarnation is different from yours. While you are able to continue on with your life, in the same body from before, these monsters are forced into many different bodies. There must be two different forces at work here. So then what does total war have to do with this? Simple. Someone or something is doing all they can to destroy you. Every night, a theoretically infinite horde of mobs attempts to kill you. Sometimes you end up dead, and sometimes they end up dead. Creepers blow up non-combatants and structures. Zombies terrorize and slaughter civilians that aid you. Everything is thrown at you to make your life miserable. A great evil attempting to stifle your creativity. With this evidence, I think it's now time we answer the question of why. Surely, these monsters are in great pain. They groan in agony and hiss in anger when hit. And when they think it's all over, they just begin again, another painful night in eternity. So no, they cannot enjoy this. Someone or something is forcing them to do this. However, no one is forcing you to. There has to be two different forces at play. One is kind, while the other is unfeeling. One creates, while the other destroys. What if the AI we all accepted as a game mechanic is really a force of evil, a counterweight to the joy in this game? What if our real enemy is the respawn button?